computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to install and connect a Wi-Fi extender to a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer and the Wi-Fi extender itself in the previous videos you did see me opening up and reviewing the Wi-Fi extender from Comfast itself so we can now get into the video let's now turn our attention to the Wi-Fi extender itself this is what we are using as you did see in the previous video that I did open up the system itself the Wi-Fi extender and the CD that comes with the extender What would then need to be done is you insert the CD into your system, take the software from the CD, bring that onto the MacBook Pro via USB, connect via USB that we see on screen, install the software. This part has not already been done. What we will now do is insert the USB that contains the software from the disk that was transferred to the USB. Let's now turn our attention to the computer itself. Let's insert the USB. And there we see the Kingston USB on screen. Let's click this, increase the size of the finder window. Take the USB content, command C to copy, paste on the desktop, command V. This may take some time depending on the speed of your computer and the USB speed. The transfer is done. We can now eject the Kingston USB, remove the USB from the USB port, open up the folder that we transferred, click on the Mac folder, Let's go to the first folder, click on the installer, PKG, welcome to WLAN World Wireless Location Area Network, continue, yes in English, to continue installing the software you must agree to the terms and conditions which you can read and then agree, yes, installed for all users on this computer, absolutely, correct. Before we do anything, let's just insert the Wi-Fi extender into the USB port. That has now been connected. Click on install. Type your password. When the software finishes installing, you must restart your computer. Are you sure you want to install the software now? Absolutely. We received the message. This is incompatible. Let's go to the second folder. Click on the installer. Continue, 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 agree. Install. Tap password. Continue the installation. The package is incompatible with this version of Mac OS. Quit. What has happened is there has already been an installation done beforehand, which is why we cannot install this again. You may have seen in 
the previous tutorials or videos that I did a long time ago, it was a 10 minute video where I took the software from a CD from the Windows computer, removed or moved that to the computer, inserted my USB into the computer, transferred the contents, brought that to the Mac, transferred to the Mac the same way we did today, and then tried to install, it worked. And the reason why this works and does not work is because it already works. I'm not sure if you understand what I'm trying to say. We could not install today because it's already been installed. And when we connect the USB, it works. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.